Okay. Make some time. So, first things first. Uh, where do we go when Fair Luna dies? I found out in the last video for Fair Luna that we are uh, at that door back here. It's a fake, fake door. I want to go this way. So, on our way to Maxima, what do we have? Got some new stuff. Let's check the trash guide. Okay. The first type we're going to do are Tomb Horrors. Heavy tank damage. Pointy spike. It's like a tank buster. You just want to stack these up in packs and AoE them down. Okay. Easy peasy. Spirits of Naxxoramus. They have an AoE Shadow Bolt. Apparently these ads and a few more can be skipped by jumping into the slime on the left when entering the room that they're in. This should help avoid a lot of trash. Ooh, we gonna check that out for sure. Okay, next, uh, Plague Ghouls. This picture looks like it's from, like, Stratholme or something. Plague Ghouls have a disease, flesh rot disease, okay. And go into a frenzy when below 50%. Stack and cleave them down. What does flesh rot do? That's ah, probably fine. Okay. Uh, so, kill. <laughs> really nothing. Okay. Uh, the Acolytes also have a Shadow Bolt Volley that hits the entire raid and an Arcane Explosion. Kind of like the Acolytes before Feralina. Stack them up. AoE them down. Okay. And... Gargoyles. All right. Plagued Gargoyles will be the last unique ad you'll see on your way to make snow. Gargoyles Gargling Oil. They have an Acid Volley dot that lasts 25 seconds. Acid Volley, okay. Be careful with chain pulling these since we don't want any too many on us. Do they do like a silence too? I thought these guys had a silence. A lot of different ads, but she's a little okay. All right, well, let's work our way to, to and see what see what we see. Okay, there's a single uh tomb horror and these dread creepers. Is this part done differently? It might be a little different. That's okay. We'll just we'll just move on. More skitters, yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, this is probably the room where it talked about going into the green slime. Maybe going down here and like up that way to skip a bunch of trash. I'm not worried about that yet because it only takes one person to not do it right for us to for us to body pull and have to do the trash anyways. So we'll do that when we're looking to save time, which we're not yet. Um, these rooms might be way different. Yeah, this is just Tomb Horrors and these Dread Creepers. So the actual layout um, in Classic is going to, I believe, be a lot different than this. All right, we go up this ramp. Yeah, this technically takes us, if we go south, it te technically takes us down to the Plague Quarter. Yeah, there's, I don't see any of those Acolyte guys or... Uh, the shadowy guys or the ghouls. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So, uh, when we see this webby ramp on the side, that's how we know we're ready to enter Megsna's lair. Okay. Oh, there she is. Nice. Love it. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know. Oh, yes, I do know. When you walk in, uh, 
the the webbing a web will cover this little area and uh you can't get in anymore so i believe you can just walk in and stand before you engage but she'll probably talk more shit like all the other bosses but you can just you, oh she's not maybe she will later okay don't look down all right so cool arena right we're on this web fighting her fight starts the uh i yeah this will close right here okay let's see what she does all right first up we got a web wrap at the 20 second mark and then every 40 seconds after that okay sends three players straight back to the northeast wall which is known as the web wall that's over here that's the northeast wall right here oops wrong button uh, okay in case of them it, yeah it cases them in a cocoon and capacitate them this ability sends a player backwards and they can therefore control the location of their cocoons on the wall uh, uh that's fine when encased um they take a pretty good amount of damage cocoons have about 6k health can be destroyed from the outside some people may be freed and take three to 700 falling damage when they hit the ground because they get encased like high up on the wall they, you can use your pvp trinket to get out of the cocoon oh but is that worth the whole raid going down one trinket or should we just free them Hmm. all right web spray uh so that's the web wrap okay every uh, every 40 seconds and then web spray is cast every 40 seconds it incapacitates everyone for eight seconds um and it yeah it deals about 2000 damage can't be resisted and the only way to avoid it is to be dead have a flask of petrification have divine intervention or already <laughs> or already be web wrapped okay um i think the thing with this is that like she still attacks when we're all web wrapped and we can't heal the tank so uh we have to do stuff to make sure he stays alive and yeah cooldowns and whatnots um poison shock uh frontal cone okay so we've got to turn her away necrotic poison reduces healing taken by 90 percent for 30 seconds jeez uh it's a poison so we can cleanse it okay being the most effective way to remove it during the web spray oh right right yeah so you throw an abolish poison on the tank before the web spray goes off and be and then because abolish poison ticks every few seconds and removes a poison so you put it on beforehand and then when everyone's webbed um the the tank will still have poison uh remove protection okay uh enraged 30 percent. she gets mad and does more damage okay how much health does she have oh really she i thought she had she would have like three million or something i don't know if i believe this number well we'll see all right um spider spawn eight to ten small spiders are spawned at the 30 second mark then every 40 seconds after that they hit really fast but only for tiny amounts of damage and they have super low health 4k is nothing they have to be grouped up and aoe'd before the web spray commences remember the web spray is when we all get stunned okay let's check out the discord strat that we have all right um Okay, every 20 seconds, people will be launched to the outer wall and cocooned. Every 40 seconds, everyone in the raid will be web sprayed, which is an eight second stun. And then we have an enrage at 30%. We just need, oh, it's a good point. Yeah, we need to make sure we're not hitting 30% right when she goes into a web spray. We want to like get a web spray and then go into 30% so we can kill that last 30% without having to deal with a single web spray. All right, um, only one tank needed for this fight. Tanker facing away. Before the timer for web spray comes up, you got to use all or as many defensive cooldowns as you can, so you can you can survive the eight seconds when everyone's uh, stunned. This has a good time to use shield wall. Um, 
agreed but that that's only for one i don't know how many sprays we're gonna have to do if she really only has a million and a half health we're gonna have to do one um if it's more then maybe we'll have to do a couple so maybe hmm all right dps kill the little, little spiders so where do these guys come from it just says they're spawned but or do they spawn out of the boss or do they come out of the walls or something Maybe I should engage and see if that happens, just to see. Like little holes over there, maybe? I forget. Uh, okay. Kill priority is the little spiders, then the cocoons. Well, range will kill the cocoons. Uh, melee don't have to. And then the boss. Add spawn 10 seconds after the cocoons launch. They must all be dead before the web spray happens. Yeah, otherwise they'll just sit there and eat us. One little little nibble at a time throughout those eight seconds all right um two to three healers will be assigned to heal web players so yeah so those healers are, are going to stand a little more to the to the northeast while the rest of the rest of the raid will be a little bit more towards the south and the center um before the web spray happens we want to make sure there's an abolish poison a renew a shield a rejuve a regrowth and a tier two priest eight out of eight bonus all on the tank so I'll probably do the tier two eight out of eight. Um, we'll have uh, probably have Horcrux do the abolish poison, a deathy do the shield, um, uh, and then depending on our on what druids we have, the rejuve and regrowth, and that'll cover everything. And it'll be spread out too, so we don't have to ha worry about one person like getting everything on there, right? Um, Okay. So, let's see. Um that's pretty much it, I think. I think all I really want to know now is where the ads come from. And I I don't know if I can resist the cocoon or not, but let's just run into her and see what happens. Wasn't there something about tanking on this? It was the problem is I don't remember if like this was the best tank spot or the worst because like of LOS or something. Okay, there's the cocoon. Am I gonna get hit by it? No. There's the poison shock. I guess the cocoon can be resisted. Okay, the spiderling appear the spiderlings appear right under her. Now we know. So most of the raid is going to be basically right here. And then we'll have, uh, yeah, main tank facing her away. Um, when, oh, that was the eight second stun, by the way. It was no big deal. Yeah, then we'll have uh, the, the webbed people that are over here-ish. Um, we'll have a few range that stand here and clear them. Everyone else will basically be right here, kind of near the entrance. Like, basically, like, up into the entrance and to the left. There's the webbed off part. Okay. And, uh, if yeah, if we do everything right, this boss is just going to fall over. Um, I don't think this is going to be too big of a deal, really. What do we get? Ooh! I got a giant bone spider! Yo! Nice! New pet. Cool. Yeah, all the loot on here is totally different here, too. Uh, well, some of these might not be. The Jawbone. Okay. All right. And hey, that's the spider wing. Uh, yeah. Um, the bosses really aren't too bad. Uh, I didn't really get to cover the trash, the true trash between Feralina and Makesna. But um, I don't think that's going to be too bad. We just have to, like, I think the gargoyles are going to be the biggest thing, and, um, I swear they silenced, but maybe not. Maybe they, maybe they just do the, maybe I'm thinking of the, of the shriekers, uh, from, um, from Strat and Skullo. I don't know. Maybe they did, they just have the AoE poison or whatever, and it's no big deal. Um, okay. Yeah, okay, that's it. Thank you for joining me for the Spiderwing videos.
And uh, I'll see you again for the other wings. All right, I'm going to end my stream so I can cut these videos up and uh, put them on the rest of the internet. All right, bye.